to the Band School. This is Alex with you today, and uh, we're doing lesson four in our office slang course, in which we learn a lot of useful phrases and expressions that you can use in the office when talking to people. So this is basically an example of things that we normally say but normally don't write uh, in the office or so at work. Um, let's start uh, with the first expression of today. Um, as always, I present to you two or three expressions. Let's go with the first one, which is uh, to be, but you can also say get or jump off, double F, off to a good start. This is an expression that you use when something, which could be a game, a football game, a project, a presentation, uh, a plan, whatever, uh, begins in the best possible way. So you can say, well, the presentation was off to a good start when Tom managed to grab everyone's attention, okay? So, if something is off to a good start, it means that, uh, you know, everything was okay at the beginning, that uh, you started on the right foot, okay? Uh, we can also use this as an expression, to start on the right foot, okay? So, to be or to get or to jump off to a good start, that's the meaning. I have prepared a few examples for you related to business, of course. The first one is our factory. You know, a factory is a company that physically produces something. Our factory got off, got off to a good start this year. Fulfilling the production quota for the very first quarter. So, fulfilling the production quota for the first quarter. Okay, so our factory got off to a good start, which means that we started the year very, very well because we have fulfilled the production quota. So we met the requirement, the, the budget for the first quarter. The first quarter is the first three months of the year. Okay, you have four quarters, each of them is three months. Okay, the first trimester. Our factory got off to a good start. Second example. A major order. A major order ensured ensured that our business got off to a uh, Good start. Okay, so a major order. Major means very big. Okay, top, one of the biggest. A major order ensured, so made sure, guaranteed that our business got off to a good start. And another example, which is also a very good tip, it's also a very good piece of advice for you in case you want to use English in your job and you want to have a career in English uh, because it says entering a room entering a room 
in a confident and relaxed manner, in a confident, uh, confident and relaxed manner or relaxed way is the same, um, is very important, is very important for getting the interview off to a good start. So, entering a room in a confident and relaxed way is very important for getting the interview off to a good start. You know the interview is that moment where you have two people. One person is looking for a job and the other person is looking to hire someone. So they're looking for a candidate for a position in a company. That's a job interview. So you want to go to an interview and be relaxed, be confident to get it off to a good start. So that was the first uh, expression. Let's go to the second expression that I have prepared for you today, which is not necessarily connected to business, but it is often connected to business. You can also use it for other things, which can be general English or whatever type of uh, uh, field uh, of reference, whatever type of sector that you work in or you are interested in. Um, the expression is to be likely to do something. To be likely to do something. If you are likely to go to the cinema tonight, uh, if I say, I am likely to go to the cinema, it means that it's very probable that you will go. So the probability for that situation to happen is very high. It's, I would say, 75%. Okay? I'm likely to go to the cinema. I'm not sure 100%, but 75%. I'm very likely to go to the cinema. You can also use it in the opposite way. For example, they are not likely to come. It means that uh, I'm not 100% sure, but 25% of possibility for them to come. So, not so much. So, depending on the use, if you use it in a positive way, I'm likely to go, it means very probable. I'm not likely to go, not very probable. Not very likely. I have a couple of examples for you. He's likely to get a fine. Okay. You know a fine is a ticket that the police gives you if you do something wrong, like with a car. Maybe you park it uh, where you're not supposed to, or you drive too fast. So he's likely to get a fine, it means 75% of probability that he will have to pay. Um, a, negative, uh, a negative example could be, it's not, it's not likely to happen. It's not likely to happen, it means probability very low, 25%. It's not likely to happen, but I wouldn't rule out, I wouldn't rule out the possibility. It's not likely to happen, but I wouldn't rule out the possibility. It means um, I wouldn't eliminate it altogether. I wouldn't um, I wouldn't uh, uh, eliminate it from the options that we have. 
Last example. Um, I'll very likely be at home all day. If someone you like um, suggests the possibility that uh, it can come to visit, he or she, they, they can come to visit, and you want to accept, you can say, sure, I'll very likely be at home all day. So this is very likely, more than 75%. When you say very likely, it all means 100%. I'll very likely be at home all day. Okay, let's finish. So, I, I, I decided to uh, present to you this structure because this is very useful when you speak about uh, probable future situations and also not probable future situations. So, when you work in an office, you work with the future, you plan for the future. And so it's important to know how to address situation that may or not happen, okay, in an appropriate way. So that's why we're talking about this. Okay, the last expression that I have for you today is, what's it to be? In this case, um, in the conversation that we will find on the platform, because remember that all the videos that I'm making for Office Lang are based on real dialogues and conversation that we have put on the platform on LeventEnglish.com. So don't forget that the whole course is only available uh, on the platform. So you're watching us on YouTube and that's only a tiny part or of what's available. So don't forget that. So what's it to be? It's an expression that means, uh, um, what would you like? Um, what are you going to drink? What will you have? And this is something you ask another person when you are at, in a bar or in a pub or in a, in, in a place where you can order things. Because what's it to be? It's normally like, is it beer or wine or a soda, water, whatever. So. Uh, what's it to be is what would you like? What would you like to drink? To drink. So once again, we're talking about office slang. So uh, it's common for people to go out for lunch, sometimes even for dinner, okay? And it's nice to, you know, um, ask the person, the people you're with, what they want, uh, if they want something to eat or something to drink, and this is another way to do it. So, office lang is always about particular expression, so that's why we're talking about this. Okay, um, that's it for now. Uh, lesson number four, if you have any questions, this is the number. You can pause the video on your computer, copy the number, and text us. We always respond. And uh, check out the platform, so come visit leventenglish.com. Uh, you can buy an access for four months, six months, or 12 months and see everything that we have prepared for you with great passion, okay? So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with lesson number five. Bye-bye.